everyone, it's Jess Boyd Page here and welcome to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed today's entrance. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be answering one of the questions that you all gave me a couple weeks ago on my video about if I was building a private lesson studio in 2021, Elizabeth left a message about email lists and specifically she wrote, I'd love to see a video about setting up newsletters and how different platforms work. I really want to up my newsletter game, but it seems so daunting. So Elizabeth, thank you for your question. And to answer it today, we're going to talk about how you can get started with email marketing in your music career or your music business. Hey all, it's Jess from editing and I just wanted to splice myself in here and let you know that while I was editing, I realized that in order to best answer Elizabeth's question, this video is going to need to be kind of a two part series. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and the little alarm bell so that you can get notification when I do drop that part two next week. Time for me to get back to editing. To get us all on the same page to start, let's quickly talk about what an email list or a newsletter list is and why it's something you want to consider having as a musician or as a music based business owner. Essentially an email list or a newsletter list is a way for you to stay in touch with your customers, your clients or your audience. Companies Companies of all shapes and sizes use email marketing as part of their major strategies because it is one of the most effective ways that you can communicate with an audience that's already interested in what it is that you're offering. Think about it. If you have a favorite clothing company, at some point you entered in your email address to find out more about either a promo or an item that you were looking for they didn't have in stock. And since then, you've probably received lots of emails from them with updates, with new promos and letting you know all about all the new products that come out. I get a lot of these from J.Crew, usually having a lot of pictures and a lot of information to get me to click to go through their website and purchase. J Crew knows that if they send me an email with pictures of new clothing that I want or a promo code that I'm likely to interact with that because I've interacted with them in the past by giving them my email address. There are a whole range of reasons why a company or a business or an organization would want to be using a mailing list for connecting with their audiences. And these can be things like selling, like with J Crew, can also be used for development and fundraising, thinking about nonprofit organizations and orchestras that are reaching out to find donors and to get involved in events and things. It can be to tell people about events or concerts or recitals that might be coming up. You might want to update people with information on purchases they might have made, or perhaps you're sending out communication with parents or community members for your studio business, all sorts of different things. In addition to the multitude of purposes email lists can serve for organizations and companies and businesses or musicians, there are also a number of different benefits to having an email list. Really the biggest benefit to having an email list is the fact that you own the information on the email list. So you own access to those emails. This is a big deal. So many of us think about marketing as social media. So the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagrams, all of that. But the problem with that is no matter how many followers you end up having or how many people you have interacting with you on those platforms, at some point it's possible that those platforms are going to disappear. And so you actually then lose access to your audience because they are no longer available to you. One of the biggest benefits of the email list is that you own the information. You own people's email addresses until they unsubscribe from you. That means that if all of your social media platforms all of a sudden disappear or all of a sudden all of the social media platforms leave the planet, you will not lose access to your audience on your mailing list. A lot of people think of their mailing list as their hub. And I think that's a really great way for us to think about it as musicians and business owners as well. It gives us a centralized place to reach our audience that's actually separate to our social media accounts. In an environment that's getting increasingly noisy, social media can become a place where a lot of people actually are spending less time. And an additional benefit of email is that you can access people where they are. They don't have to go onto those platforms to interact with you because you are showing up where they are. Another great benefit to the email list is that you know the people who are there are already interested in what you are offering or what your business is doing. They've already opted in to finding out more about what it is that you do. So you've already got this baseline of understanding that they know what you're about, they know who you are, and they still want to know more from you. Your newsletter list and email list is a great way for you to continue to build on that know, like, and trust that we all talk about. And it's a place where you can really be authentic with them. One of the other things that I know is really valuable for a lot of businesses and organizations with email lists is also the fact that you can analyze the data in a way that's much more 
more specific and much more focused than you can if you are relying on your social media. As a musician, you have so many ways that you can use email lists for good, whether that's just telling people about what it is that you're doing, your music that you're creating, your events, your concerts, all of that, or if you're running a music-based business, telling people about what services you offer, how they can interact with you, how they can work with you, and honestly, it's just such a great way to build community with people who are wanting to know more about what it is that you do. I think it's really valuable and, and every musician should have a mailing list for the work that you do or for the company that you run. So I hope that I've at least convinced you a little bit with some of that information about why you should have a mailing list as a musician or as a music-based business. Okay, well, camera battery died and while it recharged, I recharged with a coffee too. If you liked today's video or found it useful or interesting, please go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you would like to get on my mailing list, I have a link for that in the description. I would love to see you there. I email twice a week and I share information and updates that I just don't share anywhere else. You can also jump on my mailing list through my website, jessboypage.com, where I hold a bunch of other information and useful tips on how to build your career and business in music over there too. So go and check that out. You can also stay up to date with me on Instagram and Facebook also in the links in the description below and on Pinterest. Keep forgetting Pinterest. If like Elizabeth, you have some questions about how to build out your career or business in music and you would love to get them answered, please drop them in the comments below and I would love to create more videos like this to help answer some of those questions. Otherwise, I will see you here next Thursday for another video and I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you later.